What's going on world? This is Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. And I uh, had a request for a part two of my video. So you wanna slap, huh? first part was focusing on the right hand which is your uh, uh, thumping and popping hand this video is going to be focusing on the left hand what you would do uh, so the question went how do I keep harmonics harmonic notes from playing out whenever I'm doing my slap technique so uh, of course I'm going to bring out the granddaddy of them all Marcus Miller and uh, let's try to explore this. I'll try to recreate. So what I'm assuming is he's playing in that note. These, these notes will come out while he's playing. Uh, so the simplest way that I could think to eliminate this problem is to use your middle finger as a kind of like a muter type deal. Um, if you have six, seven bucks, you can get one of these, and that'll kind of deaden all the uh, that'll deaden all the different strings and stuff like that. Just tighten this up, and that kind of kills all the other strings. But using your middle finger as a damper would kind of eliminate those dead notes. Uh, so let's let's try to try to do this. So, uh, uh, and it's just a habit that my middle finger stays lightly over every other, like everywhere I move, I only pluck and slap with these two fingers. So this one just kind of sits there and it's just, It just kind of sits there and just deadens all the notes. It's just a bar, very lightly, and that's that's how I would go about trying to solve the situation. So uh, let's do a single strike, one pluck. Then let's go uh, double strike through, pull, pluck. Let's go double strike, pluck, pluck. See how that goes. keeping the harmonic note from ringing out by ever so slightly throwing in my middle finger. The finger that's in between me doing these octave notes with this one, it's kind of, see how it immediately did it? You know, let's do it again. So I play one note, it just kind of deadens everything else. So if you watch my slap technique, I always have this finger sliding up and down the uh, fretboard and it's not even something I was taught it's just something I adapted to and I'm maybe it's bad technique but just deadens the notes as I'm playing Just 
deadens the notes as you go along. So um, to answer your question, I use my middle finger. Long video to illustrate a very short point, but yeah, uh, that's left hand technique. Now, what I will say is, I was taught incorrectly. Like, well, I wasn't taught. I learned wrong. So everything I did when I first started out playing the bass because I have such big hands, I was playing everything. I was playing everything with these two fingers, and I never used my pinky. If you have the opportunity to learn the correct way, please use your pinky because that comes in handy whenever you run in scales. Whenever you run in scales or anything like that, because I didn't have the finger strength in my pinky, I was kind of handicapped myself as to what I can do. So as far as me running licks without like me doing solo stuff, I tend to lean towards the uh, these first three fingers and never really use my pinky. As I thought about it, and as I've learned and tried to like, you know, grow even doing this YouTube channel, I started to incorporate doing my slap stuff and focus on using my pinky because I could use, you know, I can use chords. Who knows? You never know when you might be able to, you know, get a chord out. And I can use the strength of my pinky now because I went back and retrained myself. But that wasn't always the case. I was always just using these first three fingers. So let me say that. Um, use your pinky if you can. Uh, and that comes in handy when you're doing running bass lines. Because it gets kind of hard if you're trying to do it fast. It's better to use your pinky because you can, you know. And that's kind of hard to, you gotta fudge it, it's not as clean. Use your pinky. Um, that's a different video, I'll probably come back to that later. But how I get rid of my harmonics is using a pretty much a light bar with my middle finger. So you make the uh, octave, make the octave shape play the note two frets over two strings down same note and then you just use it as a bar so So, till next time, this is Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy.